Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Space. Today in this video session, uh, we will discuss about how to create uh, new Git packages uh, in C Sharp and uh, how you can upload this on uh, our NuGet.org. So it's NuGet.org. So let's start. Uh, here I already create one uh, class library project for the demo puppets. Uh, so here uh, I add a sample project like uh, adding the two numbers. Uh, uh, that getting the input parameter for number one and number two, and then return the addition of that. So I rename this as a calculator. Calculator. And then yes, you will also change. So here I am creating uh, one method to add the two numbers so it's add it's uh, x and uh, y then return then this will return uh, x plus y so this will save it so this is the simple demo so this is only adding these two numbers now uh, we right click on this uh, project and uh, go to uh, their property So here, uh, currently I'm choosing the .NET 8.0. So you can uh, create in any versions. So currently I'm using a Visual Studio 2022 latest version. So just I'm going to the their properties and click on packages. So here you can add your uh, package title. So it's here like uh, I'm adding just CSR space. And this is a by default 1.0.0. You can change it here if you want. So here, uh, like I'm writing my name, it's Vivek Jaswal. And this company, but by default this taking projects. If you want any descriptions, copyright, project URL, you can edit here. And icons, and this, uh, this, Ops, uh, fields or uh, options so you can edit or uh, you can left it blank but here uh, read v and the license type is required to upload on our uh, uh, newget.org website so here uh, like i'm going to their project folder and here i'm creating a one one text file for uh, like uh, read v so I set it here like uh, rate me. So we need to uh, set their type as MD. So it's Notepad. Notepad. And this set is uh, this file or this this new get for demo purpose. Or demo purpose. And then here I copy this URL and then save it. Once this will save it here as a, all files, we'll save it as a readme, readme.md. So their extension type will be md. So save it. So I save it here and uh, need to one more file for their licensing. So I add one text file as a license, license, and this this uh, license this license for our demo new kit. So you can you uh, add your actual license text here. So I save it. And then uh, we browse these files here. So here I choose this thread view file. And uh, then we go to the license parts. You can flip this size a blank. So the different settings here. Repository tags, release notes, package tools. So this can install by the .NET tool command. Assembly, assembly versions, file versions. And this is the license type. So here is two types one is the embedded and uh, embedded files and this is the hdx license express so here i am choosing this embedded files so 
I just browse this application and uh, this uh, folder. So here I choose the license and this required prompt when user. So if you want uh, your uh, license text is uh, shown uh, when any user installs your new kit package. So you can uh, mark it as check here. Now the, this is the different settings for symbols and anything. So now just I'm save this project. Now uh, you can choose this application, uh, use this option for creating a, a new kit file. So just click on this pack. So this will create a one uh, new kit file for uh, these projects. Uh, so that I will upload on uh, new kit uh, dot towards website. So this package is created here. So just you can check it here. So here, uh, here this spec is created. So now uh, just go to the new get not to worry. Here I already create an account. So if you want, uh, if you are not in account on this uh, new get dot you can create the account using your Microsoft account, Microsoft email ID. So here I am just browse the application. And here I am choosing this uh, C subspace new kit demo. Click on this. So, if any errors is occur during this uh, uh, new kit packages, so this will here showing the like a license or a uh, readme file exception. So, this here uh, showing the details for that new kit packages like a package are new versions owners. So this is the information that you uploaded here. So this will show here. So if everything is okay, then uh, you can click on submit. So on clicking on submit, so this not instantly uh, publish on a negative order. So this showing a message like uh, they will validate your new kit packages according to their policies. So this will take us hour or maybe more. So uh, so this licensing is also available when, uh, once package validation is complete. And here this showing the information. So because here I am just creating this uh, new kit package for demo purpose. So if when you upload your actual file, so this will uh, validate it and approve. So this will available in your uh, new kit. So here just view, you can go your manage new kit packages and you can search your uh, new kit package name here and like this so you can search it here currently this is not available because this is not published. So your package is available here and you can add this new kit in other projects or you can use uh, as this publicly. So this is just a demo purpose for how you can create a new kit packages in a CSR with the help of Visual Studio. So if you have any questions, any problems, please uh, write it in the comment box. I will reply soon. And if you like my videos, please don't forget to click on subscribe button and also click on notification bell for latest updates. So thanks. Thanks for watching. We will meet in next video session.